hello guys welcome back to my channel i'm juliet for those who don't know me i'm a food and lifestyle blogger in lagos nigeria so guys today i'm going to be making bolly bolly and grilled mackerel fish but for nigerians we call it titus fish here in lagos i don't know what they call it elsewhere so now we are going to be using fresh pepper you can see that this fresh pepper is already grinded like i just grated it but i'm just going to be using small of it just a little you can see and then i have here um grinded pepper that is um at a good move for those who know it in lagos but this is just grinded pepper not suya pepper and then i have here vitals ginger garlic powder you know it's both ginger and garlic powder and then i have a lime next i have my uh, maggi crayfish here as well and then i have my fish you can see that my fish is thoroughly washed it's already washed there is no dirty you can see very very clean fish you open it up like that so that you'll be able to put your peppers and everything inside like you want and then you can see my plantain here this is the plantain that i'm going to be roasting today to give me bully you understand like for those who know bully very well and this is going to be my mixing bowl yeah so now i'm pouring first thing first i'm going to be um mixing all my ingredients together you understand so first i'm going to be mixing my peppers everything together so watch me while i mix okay so now i'm going to be adding my fresh pepper you can see just more fresh pepper and then it's going to go fine you know we are using grinded pepper so everything is going to be very, very spicy and i'm going to be adding my grinded pepper to eat next thing i'm going to be doing is adding this um ginger and garlic powder you know i i bought two of it i wanted to use it too but i i noticed that just one is enough i didn't want to use more so just that one is enough okay but depending on how many fish you want to make though so now i'm going to be adding my maggi crayfish to the um stuff Um, I added my salt to taste you know please guys you know I have I get some people sending me private messages and telling me that the salt I had to my food is too much you are not the one tasting the food I'm the one tasting it so I don't know I'm the one tasting it and it's not salty to me depending on how everybody's taste but you understand so now I'm going to be adding my lime to it So the next thing I'm doing now is adding my oil to it. I'm going to mix well now. Guys, you need to mix it very very well okay mix it very well so that you know you're not you're not going to have 
seasoning on some parts and there will be no seasoning on some parts of the sauce okay so you got to mix it very very well that's just one thing i know Now the next thing we are going to be doing is cutting the fish. You guys know how I cut my fish when I want to grill. You just open it up for the sauce to go into it, you understand? So open it up very very well. So now you guys can see that I already opened the fish like I already taught the fish up okay so now it's time to pour our sauce inside the fish you can see how I'm pouring the sauce inside the fish you know you have to have enough sauce you can marinate and me i don't marinate and i get the exact things i want so you guys can still marinate to you know it's still going to be delicious as well either you marinate or not it's still going to be delicious that's just one thing i want you guys to know so that is i don't i really do not marinate in fact i do the, the fishes have like some of them that i've posted on here the grills i don't marinate them i do them immediately because i have other things i need to do on time that is how i do mine i don't marinate and then go back again so you know i like when i start something i finish it immediately i don't like to paint something and then go back again you know but i think if you marinate it might taste better but i'm saying right now that even if you don't marinate you are still going to enjoy your fish okay so many of you will be wondering like how how did i get these things they are for sale i have them for sale but right now they are not available because they're already out of stock but if for my subscribers that really loves me if you want to buy from me you can just put it in the comment section below and then you can pre-order and then it's going to come after two weeks okay once you just have to mind that you're going to buy it everything i have for sale if you can get this griller this particular one that this charcoal is inside if you can get get it around you fine you can buy it. and then this um net that i'm using turning the fish as well yeah that is a grill basket if you want it i also sell it as well so it depends on you if you want to buy from me you let me know put it in the comment section and then i'm going to get it for you and in two weeks you get your stuff delivered to you okay it is not expensive so please don't be scared all these things are here and then i'm going to the next video i'm going to be doing is if you know you cannot afford all these things because i know nigeria right now it is not everybody that can afford all these things i you i'm going to do another video of another thing you can use that you can easily get around you to be able to grill a perfect fish okay so that's it guys so you can see we're already grilling it and then there's something about this titus fish this mackerel fish you know mackerel fish has 
so much oil in it like it has so much oil in it so as the fish is cooking the oils are going into the fire and then the fire is coming out so much and i had to use water you're going to use water you make sure that you have water around you to always off the fire you know you pour the water on the fire to reduce the fire because if the fire is too much it's going to get burnt i know you guys you when, you when you're watching this video you're going to understand exactly what i'm trying to talk about here okay the fire you can see like the fire is coming up so much and we don't need this much fire to be able to make this fish cook all right so you make sure that you have water beside you to always pour into that fire So guys, you can see what I'm doing. As you grill, you had more sauce. 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 I'm saying this so you will know. For you to get a very, very tasty fish, you need to always add sauce while you grill. You turn it at every second or every minute so that, so that the fish will not get um, burnt, okay? So that the fish will not get burnt as you grill you had more sauce you turn you had more sauce you turn you had more sauce that's how i grill my own fish if you really want to get the exact taste that i had when i did mine okay So guys you can see that our fish is ready the fish is cooked thoroughly cooked there's a way i know that my fish is cooked i took a fork and then i opened some parts like a part of the fish to go inside and i discovered that the fish 
there's no more blood and it's there's no more water coming out of it it's already cooked totally so and i, I grilled this fish for roughly 25 minutes 20 to 25 minutes it depends on you depending on how your fire is at that moment you understand so make sure that you check it to make sure make sure that you check it if like check if the fish is already cooked make sure that it is well cooked okay now you can see i moved the fish from where it was before to another part of the griller because i feel like there's no much fire there and you can see fire is even coming out already so because of the oil i told you guys put the oil in the um the inside the fish you understand so how to bring the body to a place where fire is going to touch it very well you understand so now i left that fish there to be cooking little by little more you understand because i would like to eat it very very hot so now i had to make leave it to cook a little bit more till the body is ready that is what you see me trying to do here because the fish is already cooked there is nothing more we need to do here you get we are just waiting for the body to be ready i had to you know transfer the fish out of the fire a little bit but i noticed that the thing is still is still cooking it's still cooking but don't mind that i'll make sure just make sure that your water is close to you you are like you are huffing the, you are you are making sure that you are pouring the water inside the fire as every slight mistake you get because we don't want our fish to get burnt okay So guys you can see that our grilled fish is ready the bowl is ready and then i made this yummy palm oil sauce to it but i didn't put the video here for you guys because i didn't want this um, video to be too long for you to watch okay so if you want this video please go below to the comment section and just put it there then i'm going to make the video for you guys okay thanks so much for watching i love you please like this video subscribe to my channel for the new subscribers and then share the video thank you guys bye